Hello, welcome to the next edition of the Wednesday special. And since uh, the deck that originally was going to win this poll, um, like slight modifications, I realized the deck was lacking when I ran it through a league. Um, I ended up going one and four. The deck did not feel like it had a very good aggro plan, um, which is one of the big arguments why everyone was telling me to to play that version of Possibility Storm. So I made some modifications to this list, and hopefully this deck does better. Um, we're going to go a little bit more adapting some of the strategies of Gruel Midrange to make the aggro plan actually relevant. Because uh, everyone always says this deck should have a good aggro plan, but every single time I put it into practice, it just fails. So that is the deck we're trying out today. Possibility Storm, the uh, first day of class variant. So let's get into the deck list. And if you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so we can maybe get to 500 or 1,000 subs or on the road. Let's do it. So let's get into the deck so, list. Uh, I ended up trimming back some Fable, the Mirror Breakers. I get it. It's it's a good card. But like Gruel Midrange, I want to try to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, so two copies seem fine. It still can come down and set up some, you know, Love Struck Beast with Haste. Um, I'm only running three Bone Crusher Giants. I cut one for a Fable just because of the fact that, well, there's a shortage on Mana Traders right now. So that's the reason why. And also, I, I have three Chariots. So I also think this is a pretty good card, of course, after a Storm Seeker. I think Storm Seeker is really going to push this deck in a, the aggro plan more just because uh, Gnarl Professor is a decent body, 5 4 for 4 with Haste. We can get it with Trample. So. Hopefully we could deal a lot of damage quickly, or alternatively, we could set up the combo kill with, you know, Enter the Infinite, Borgamos, Possibility Storm. With Possibility Storm, Bone Crusher Giant gets first day of class, so that's also pretty helpful. Um, Invasion of, of Exelon helps get your um, Love Struck Beast, Giant, Possibility Storm, so that's really helpful. So that is Possibility Storm, and sideboard-wise... We have Immolation as a decent way to remove uh, Elves in the early game. Alpine Moon for the Lotus Field matchup. Pithy Needle, kind of a catch-all. We have Sciences and Pest Summoning for um, the Learn. We have two Ratchet Bombs and Elder Dragon War for the Boros Kavoke matchup. We have Ooze for Graveyard Hate. Runestone for Graveyard Hate or Coco slash um, Cable's Reconstruction. Then I move my Ren and Realm Breaker to the sideboard. This is mainly for games that go long, like against control. You stick a Ren, you're doing you're doing a pretty good job. Bracto's mid range, pretty decent in that matchup too. So I moved it to the sideboard because I wanted to be more aggressive game one. And because assuming because Bracto's game two and game three adjusts their main board from their side, and they usually close up the matchup percentages so i want to make sure that game one i get steal game one and then game two game three i battle for the the match which i think is really important against practice mid-range and control because control also does a similar approach they cut their dovin's vetoes and then they insert rafts more stuff like that removal so i want to have a diverse slower plan probably against that games two and three so that is Possibility Storm for Pioneer. Let's get into the gameplay. Fifths, Thoughtsies, dang it, takes my L. Takes my Love Struck Beast. All right, so that tells me he probably has a Fatal Push. So we'll play the Elf past the turn. Gonna probably eat a push or a two drop removal spell. Swamp for the opponent, stomps it. Play the Mountain, don't want to reveal that we drew a land there. Plays a Ridge. Plays the Bone Crusher Giant. Passes. Land of War. That's not useful. Then on green. Play Stormseeker. Give it haste. Smack you for three. Trades. Sakasan. Shieldred. Put that on red. Play Land of War. Play Stormseeker. No attacks. He gets frisky. Take it. Play the tap hive. Should kill the Land of War Elf. Passes. Take the damage. Play Possibility Storm. Sure, pump it. Mac you. Pass the turn. Turns on the hive. Gets frisky. All right, we still have a shot here to win. So we're taking nine. You have a stomp. And you can't 
hit me for two. All right, so he must have a push for that. So we take that damage. Well, we don't win this game. Yeah, that's right. That flips into something else. Cast Bone Crusher. So six, nine. Sure. We die at our upkeep. So we could bring in Ren. This is definitely the matchup for that. Emulation, Pithy Needle. Nothing else seems impressive. So I don't really think Bone Crusher is that great in this matchup. So I'll run it like that. Actually, I want to split that. So two down a Bone Crusher and one Invasion. I don't like that. Gorge. L. Go. Hive. Passes. Chariot. I'm going to play that tap. Play Mystic. Heart's Desire. Go. Pathway on red. I'm assuming here comes a Blood Tithe Harvester. Passes. Play Ezekiel's Chariot. Smack you for one. Ridge. Fatal pushes an L. Passes. Play Lovestruck Beast. Crew it. You got a removal spell. Power word kill. Sure. Or whatever. Hit you for four. Five. Ritual Soot is the only card he could have. That's good. Harvester. That's whatever. Plays an Herborg. Passes. Carplusia Force. Atlanta War Elf. Attack with the Cats and the Beast. Cracks a Blood Token. Probably to enable Revolt. So predictable. Sure. Takes the... Oh. Trades. Sure. Takes two. Down to 13. Play the Serpent. Pass the turn. Now he can't invent on even. Yeah... So now we're stuck with two L's. Play the tap blood crypt. We draw land, which is kind of mid. Smack face, pass turn. I mean, the, the, the aggro plan definitely feels better than it did before, but it's just not enough to win this match, clearly. Shieldred for the opponent. Possibility store. Okay. And you can't uh, send through that trigger because we're going to have to cast the sand stalker at instant speed. He stomps. He passed the turn, plays the Bone Crusher, passes. Elf, that is not helpful. Pass the, oh wait, that does go into something else. Oh my god, another L. All right, pass the turn. Chomp with an elf, I suppose. We are one card away, but of course we can't just tap out either. We need enough mana sources. Cliffs, swings out. We block with one, down to eight, passes. All right, another damn land. Ugh. Pass the turn. Which means we're just dead now. Yeah, because he hits me for four and then two on, uh, on upkeep. So we're off. 0 and 1. <sighs> that just feels like an unwinnable matchup with this deck. I don't know. Let's get into the next. What is a campus? That's not a terrible draw. Play Mystic. Go. So this can curve out. We could Storm Seeker into Professor, get our Sorcery Possibility Storm. We do have it set up to get to the combo. Planes for the opponent. Cleric class. Passes. Fable. I think I stick with the aggressive plan. Go Stormseeker. Hit ya. Because then I attack from two avenues in one game. Passes. We play Stomping Grounds. Gnarl Professor. We go digging and get environmental sciences. Make the professor have haste. Smack you. For ten. Kills my threat. Okay. For three. Pass the turn. So he needs hand disruption. Passes. Still ha has not found another land. Play Possibility Storm. Give him give him haste. Smack you. All right. That gets filtered away. What do you get in return? Got, you got a safekeeping. So he is Abzan? We hit him to nine. Pass the turn. Plays Reckoner Raid. What do you get instead? Dodge Pursuit. Drains me. So I go ahead and Environmental Sciences. Enter the Infinite. Put Borgamos to the back cast l cast borgamos and throw a land throw a land throw a land and throw a land back and he dies let's get into sideboarding so this matchup we don't really need the the flasher in this match i didn't really see a lot he did have some classes so i could i guess bring that in i don't like that play as a swamp and passes play a besage you play l go Passes his turn. Play Stomping Grounds. Untapped. Stormseeker. Give Stormseeker hey, Smack you. Plays a tap land. Passes. Play Fable the Mirror Breaker. Give it haste. Smack face. It's even better. This is actually just even better with uh, Fable. Because you make the token have haste. You get a treasure right away. It's actually quite powerful. So now next turn we get to put down a chariot. And just win. Alright, so he kills the Stormseeker. Pretty decent move. So we go to say yes, we will pitch this Bone Crusher 
and a love struck beast play a lair play chariot smack your face for two past the turn play the planes destroys the chariot we untap flip play gorge play possibility storm smack 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 actually i could have went in for it there right i could have played this for a green got enter this would have been the card i yeah i could have went for it there with a single mana he destroys my he attempts to destroy my possibility storm what do you get in exchange all right he scoops it up so we're one on one uh the deck does definitely feel better when it comes to the aggro plan we were able to go wide and pretty decently sized so let's get into the next mountain kimono passes first day class that's awkward we play elf go so hopefully he does not mess with my elf mountain because our next plan is to play this Ixalan. Maybe dig for a land. Passes. We, we draw a land. That's not bad. So I think that means we go for Stormseeker. Because next turn I play uh, a Rockfall. So I don't necessarily need another land. Hit you for three, pass the turn. All right, so he gets a 2-2. Two -two, plays a Mountain. <clears throat> Demolitions. Draws a card. Got a Bushwhacker. Yep, gets them all haste. Smacks out. We're at six. That's not bad. So we drop that. We have stomp here. And I don't really want to exchange my uh, elf for one for one. So I think I'm going to play the beast. And we'll just pass the turn. Leave Stormseeker to be a blocker. The other possibility is I could have Ixalan. Actually, I wouldn't have had enough to flip it. Kimuno, sure. Hits me to five. Epicure to four. Goes to combat. Attacks with everything. So we block and block. Take two. If he has any shock, he wins. Play with fire. A demolition. Okay. That is an awkward position to be in. I can't stop that much damage. So we have these for this matchup. Also, we can also bring in these. Probably go down. Fables. They're just not worth the effort. The Sandstalker. A Ixalan. A Stormseeker. Run it like that. Stomping grounds. Tap, go. Sakasan, Kimono, passes. Mountain, go. Dark Steel Citadel, Ornithopter. All right, so that's a 1 3. Bow Mac Carrier, Courier, Stomp the Courier. If he has a Play with Fire, you could argue killing your own threat so just to fizzle my Bone Crusher. So I definitely want to play Bone Crusher. So play the Bone, pass the turn. Next turn, I could play a Tap Layer and then just play Ixalan. So Kimono flips over. You roast my Bone Crusher Giant. Hits me for three. All right, that's not a terrible top deck. Get rid of there. Play. Lair. Exelon. Based on my current board state, I think I want a Chariot. Another Kimono. Plays another Citadel. Hits me down to 14. Stomping Grounds untapped. Play Elf. Play Chariot. Pass the turn. Bomac Courier. Comes down as a 2-2. Bushwhacker. Grows the entire team. Smacks face with everyone. So that trades. That trades. So put that on red. A possibility storm. Hit the invasion, I suppose. Pass the turn. So that flips. We'll be taking three this turn. Plays a mountain. I definitely can't open up more of his hand. Hits me. To seven. Borgamos. So we're going to go to combat, attack the evasion, stokes the cat. What does that turn into? Shrapnel blast, the face. Does he have to sack something to cast that though? He sacked the land, okay. So that hits face. We take out the invasion, flip the invasion, and I guess pass the turn. We're on a two turn clock with this ornithopter. Stokes the flame, what does it get instead? I mean, any burn spell kills me, which I imagine anything he has is a burn spell. So, yeah. All right. I think that we means we are one and two. Let's get into the wrap up. So what do we learn this week about this deck? Again, I, I just don't think this deck is as strong as the other variant where we have a lot of ways of tucking our Enter the Infinite, Borgamos, and have a lot more interaction to deal with our opponent's threats. So it's like either you want to go on the aggressive plan which is what this deck is supposed to be doing with the first day of class variant. Or you're supposed to be a little bit more of a mid-range deck. Control the board and you consistently hit your make your combo more with the other variant. 
So at this current moment, I'm stuck that this version is just a lot worse than the other. That's my initial take. I've tried multiple different versions. I played with the deck that the main person plays this through leagues, constantly keeps playing. And that deck felt so weak. It, the, the aggro plan felt bad. This one felt better. Like I felt like I could actually maybe contend with their opponent's beatdown plan. But even then, it still feels worse than Gruel Midrange. So it's like we're just like a subpar variant of that that doesn't really ever get combo. So it's it's like a double-edged sword. The other version, um, we can get the combo consistently because we do dig by putting this to the bottom, this to the bottom, drawing relevant cards. And so at this current moment, I'm stuck that this version is the worst of the two. There's pro- I think there's three in total. Um, there's also a Karn variant. You know, you could tutor up um, the the one that's two-faced MDFC with the artifact on the back or the sorcery on the back. You can get that artifact, cast the sorcery, and it should also help. So that is definitely where I'm kind of at. This might be better than the Karn version, but it's not better than the other one. If you have any suggestions at all, let me know down in the comments. Like I said, the original version I I, I played with through the league didn't have Storm Seekers. I had four Fables. Uh, no chariots. I had Chandra's and um, a Ren main, which didn't really feel like a very good min range deck. And as in dealing with your opponent's threats, even with Chandra minusing, uh, and the aggro plan was just weak. So like I couldn't get it going. And also, I guess it didn't help that I drew this card every game pretty much, which caused me to lose. So if you want to see that league. It should be in my backlog. It was like two weeks, about a week ago. So if you wanted to watch that, you can. Um, I'm going to pre-warn you. Like I said, I went one and four. It did not feel like the deck was even competitive in those. So actually, wait, the time this airs, it'll be a few weeks ago. Uh, Yeah, so you can check that out if you want. But honestly, I'm under the impression I'm going to, again, shove this um, deck type away. Um, Eldrain's coming out in a couple week or a couple months. So hopefully we visit then and we get more adventure cards, which I think that could have a decent body. That would be the ultimate, you know, change. So I hopefully we get like a very good, even if it's like a four, three for, for three, like this is, except it's two, uh, green and a colorless invasion of excellent dig top five, get a tournament. That would be amazing right if it's a sorcery i don't so hopefully we get some adventure cards and it pushes this strategy and to the maybe to being a very competitive deck like i said if you have any suggestions let me know down in the comments before we head out the door don't forget to like comment and subscribe talk to you soon